heart cookies for the one you love. Hi, I'm Lauren, creator of Lolly's Home Kitchen. You can call me Lolly. I'm gonna share with you how to decorate some adorable heart cookies for the one you love. They're really simple, so let's get started. For this heart cookie, you're gonna to wanna to start by outlining the very edges of your heart. So I've got some scallops on the edges of my heart here. So I'm gonna put some outline consistency and I'm gonna go maybe two or three scallops at a time and then I'm gonna take my brush with a little bit of water and I'm gonna pull that icing in and cover the middle of the scallop. So you're gonna do that all the way around. And then you're gonna take your red flood or whatever color you want, and you're gonna flood the middle. Right after you flood it, you're going to take a white flood and cut a little hole in the tipless icing bag so it's a nice thin line, and you're gonna lay down some lines of white flood. Now the tip here is to make sure that the white is the exact same consistency as your red so that your floods are the same consistency. Then you're gonna go ahead and let that dry. And after it's dried, I'd say you want a, a good crust on it. So maybe an hour or two, at least, I'd say up to six to eight hours, have that base really, really dry. And then you're gonna put on your cute little flowers. And for that, you're gonna need some white detail consistency. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna pressure pipe a dot of white. And then as you let go of the pressure, you're gonna, push the icing bag around in a circle to create the, uh, the, the rosebud effect there. And then after you've created those rosebuds, I've got three on this cookie, then you're going to grab your thick green icing. And in the very end of the bag, you'll cut a V shape and that's gonna allow you to pipe a leaf. So you'll pipe your leaves uh, in a couple different spots right around those rosebuds. And then that's it. That's it for this one. This heart cookie, oh, this one's so much fun and super easy. So you're gonna want a palette knife with a really kind of a small end to it. First of all, you're gonna outline your cookie. I've outlined mine in red for this one. I wanted that red to pop on the very edge of the cookie. So we have contrasting colors here, which is really fun. So go ahead and pipe the outline in whatever color you want and then flood in a different color. I flooded this one white. And then you're gonna let that dry. So this one I let dry for at least six to eight hours. It was super dry because you're gonna be using your palette knife to press some icing on the cookie. So you wanna make sure it's really, really dry. All right, to do the embellishment on here, I have three shades of red, or you can even do two. If you wanna do two shades of red, you can do two shades of red, or you can do three. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a dollop of the thick detail consistency onto your palette knife and then you're going to touch it down and drag down, and that's gonna apply that, that swash to your cookie. And then you just repeat that for another four or five times, and you'll get a beautiful palette knife swash, uh, an ombre swash on the side of your heart cookie. This heart cookie is so beautiful, turns out so nice. I actually used my airbrush on this one. So an airbrush machine is really fun to use, and I did use a star stencil. So I did a basic outline and flood in red on this one. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your flood is really nice and dry before you, before you do any airbrushing. Uh, but then when you're ready to, you can go ahead and grab your stencil and your stencil holder and your airbrush. Uh, I went ahead and used just a red uh, airbrush color in my airbrush gun for this one. And then I just went ahead and airbrushed those stars on. I also applied a little bit of glitter. I'm a big fan of edible glitter. So right after I airbrushed the stars, the stencil was still in place. And I sprinkled some of that edible glitter on top before I took the stencil off. And it turned out so nice. Before we talk about these last cookies, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you wanna amaze your friends and family with the most awesome looking cookies they've ever seen, you are in the right place. This channel is where deliciousness meets joy and I'm all about having fun with cookies. I'll show you how to make cookies that look impressive but are easy to make. If you could please do me a favor and like this video, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, share this channel with any of your friends that you think would like to join you, it really does help out.
All right, thank you so much again. Let's get back to the video. Oh, I'm so excited to tell you about this heart cookie. This is an ice cream cone heart shape and it's so fun and easy to do. So you're gonna wanna start with just a base flood of like a beige or brown color, um, a shade of beige that you, you feel like is appropriate for a waffle cone. And then you're gonna let that dry. And then what you'll do is uh, take your piping or outline consistency and get those grid lines on there. You can actually go straight into piping the, the pink uh, melty ice cream on top. You're gonna want a outline consistency to line those top edges and then draw your squiggly lines for the, for the ice cream running down. And then you'll go ahead and fill in with a nice thicker flood. Uh, you want that thicker flood to be able to hold those sprinkles that you're gonna put on top. And then you'll go ahead and just sprinkle your sprinkles right on top and you'll have a super fun, cute ice cream heart. Okay, this heart is oh, super special to me because this heart represents uh, maybe a heart that's healing. My youngest son has um, had some heart issues and so I did these cookies to help some of our medical friends and they were really easy to do. The, you can grab any heart shape that you like and you'll outline and flood. I did white for this one. I outlined and flooded and then I let that dry and I did some speckles of like metallic gold on there. So you can take your metallic gold luster duster powder and if you mix that with some Everclear or even a tiny bit of uh, vodka or water, if water's all you have, you can speckle some metallic on there. And then I just went ahead and did an outline. So I used my detail or outline consistency to line the edge and put the little stitches on there too. Do you love decorating cookies? Cookie Camp is a five-part workshop series that will give you the insider secrets to professional cookie decorating right in your own kitchen. You'll learn how to make the best sugar cookies, best royal icing, and how to decorate them. Plus, we'll show you how to achieve perfect designs every time. No more frustration or wasted ingredients. We've got everything covered so that all that's left for you to do is to have fun with it. Join us at Lolly's Cookie Camp and let us help you take your cookie game from amateur hour to pro status. With our expert guidance, we can guarantee you will learn a lot and have a total blast. And if there are any questions along the way, just ask one of our friendly team members who are more than happy to help out when needed. So what do you say? Ready for some serious fun? Let's get started today. You can sign up by using the link below before it's too late.